Hello guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Today it's a Friday here and I actually managed to get a couple of chairs. So I'm sitting up a little bit. Uh, same place, rooftop. Uh, you guys seem to like the videos from here. So it's a weekend but uh, people, uh, you know, uh, perhaps still sleeping and stuff. So I don't want to disturb them. Um, as usual, that's the real. Um, the thing is, the time is about... I think it's nearing 7, 7 a.m. Uh, today is not that cold, but uh, the fog is there, you know, like behind me, you can see. It's kind of foggy, uh, very, not dense, but nice little foggy weather. So I decided to do three videos for you, uh, two uh, fragrance reviews and one kind of like a, a multiple fragrance in one video. So the workers are up at the, you know, the drill. They are up next uh, plot and they're going to be screaming. So if you hear some noise, I apologize. And... Uh, thing is uh, the first fragrance we're gonna go with is a uh, winter i think it's a great winter fragrance okay i have reviewed this before and it's a re-review and i've got this fragrance back in my collection i used to have it before and i sold it off right so the fragrance is gonna be called gray flan grave flannelia uh, this bottle the wine bottle wine like wine shaped bottle or something like it really beautiful presentation inexpensive fragrance i'll give you my final take on that or rather uh re-review on this one because i did not give the most favorable review uh, and most of the people they have a love and hate it love it or hate it uh, relationship with that so let's see what you get first of all this fragrance it comes in massive uh, huge bottle i think uh, about 400 ml plus something and then 125 ml and i believe there's a small 75 ml somewhere so the prices on these varies you know in uh, foreign countries states yeah you see they're screaming already so <laughs> uh, the thing is uh, in the states i heard there's like 10 15 dollars some years back people could find it in discounted sites i got it for about 25 bucks okay so 25 dollars for 125 mil excellent value still and uh, let me show you the packaging it's kind of like different than the other ones they didn't give you a box once again it comes in this kind of like a pouch like a like you know if your hoodie you know if you have a hoodie that kind of material so it says jeffrey bean and there's like the tag so basically the bottle stays in there not really fancy but at least something you know so if you drop it high likely it will break so it doesn't have that much protection but something okay so like once again the bottle looks like that it has the green bottle it definitely looks like uh, shiraz or jacob's creek if you know uh, wines from uh, fine wine from all over the world like australia or somewhere um, this this looks definitely represents the wine bottle i really like it and the sticker looks very elegant and this is a fragrance from 70s if i'm not mistaken so still it's selling and it's the reformulated one for sure i haven't checked the batch code this is what the sticker looks like so uh, some i have seen lex ellis when he reviewed it his cap was kind of loose it keeps sliding out so mine i can pick it up no problem and the bottle is not very heavy glass base is not that much so it's a kind of relatively okay you know it feels uh, light in the hand so when i take out the cap let me show you the sprayer as well yeah this one for me has this good grip and then tall atomizer like the old school classics and this one slides on nice so let's show you the sprayer sprayer is good okay shoots a lot of juice okay i got some on my hand so i don't i know already the smell of this perfume let me tell you why i didn't like it before and the story with the fragrance community then i'll tell you my story why i got it back so recent days i'm getting a lot of fragrances back in my collection the ones i used to have then i sold out and then i kind of missed them and perhaps my nose grew a little bit mature so i'm craving for the older uh, mature stuff so this is one of them this fragrance got a lot of hate in community there was a big thing going on back in the time when og reviewers used to review this like the gray flannel challenge i think that was dan Ma dan my maker smish uh, rest in peace brother we all miss you we all love you so much yeah he was one of the greatest reviewers on the planet you know i really loved his work his laughter was infectious you know and he's one of the og reviewers he sent it to mark a sample and then i think many other reviewers like uh, perhaps coach rob 619 then i think uh, a lot of other reviewers you know they sort of like reviewed this and uh, the thing is more or less most people hated this even though people even who like my dear brother brother alonso he uh, he's from uh, i think spain yes so basically uh, he uh, is he from Spain? Man, I'm sorry if I if I got that wrong, you know. But Brother Alonso is one of our uh, 
regular members in the group and he posts uh, regularly so he wears a lot of masculine stuff a uh, lot of fragrances that are from past or uh, you know beast mode or powerhouses but he said he cannot quite stomach this so what i will tell you uh, i asked yesterday in the group that how many people still have the guts to wear this because i do wear it and the colder weathers like this this is beautiful so if you're a fan of you know like uh, moss oak moss this one perhaps has some synthetic oak moss not real stuff but uh, this has quite a few complexity about it you know which is, i like first thing this bottle is beautiful my reason to get it back i wanted this bottle back in my collection second thing is it's not that expensive third thing is this fragrance lasts a long time and longevity is pretty good and the reformulation i'm pretty sure it's much more wearable than what it used to be i never tried the vintage but this stuff it's for grown up men you know it's for sure it's a grown up uh, masculine uh, manly fragrance women i'm not sure if they would like wearing this but this one in the same uh, ball park with pakora ban purom azaro purom uh, some of those kuros uh jivanchi gentlemen so you can see 40 plus men would definitely like it but just give you an idea of age but if you're mature nose you can try it so this one i get a lot of things you know like when i discover it on my skin uh this fragrance it opens up kind of like citrus neroli there is also tonka beans of sweetness you know tonka bean sweetness there is the galbanum floral and uh, there's also that uh, oak moss something green so you get those florals you get those nice little iris if you do like uh, narcissus rodriguez for him edp and uh, there's kind of like iris there this one i detect here so fragrance is a little bit grown up you know it's not like something you'll fall in love instantly it took me so many years to fall in love with it and i crave for it so i guess this is a fragrance going to take time to grow on you so uh, if you if you just want to wear it you wear it for yourself uh, perhaps you'll get a, a nice little compliment if you're wearing this with like an old coat of burberry or something like a woolen coat or like a very heavy coat and you have like a professor you know sort of persona people would you have to rock it with a lot of confidence if you're wearing it like let's say go clubbing nothing's going to happen if you wear this for uh, warmer months i think this is going to be a bit uh, heavy so go just two sprays not more than that so this thing is a classic gents fragrance for me i just absolutely love the floral aspect i love the greenness of it i love the oak moss if you like oak moss and you don't want to break your bank this is a fragrance highly recommend buy it and do not sell it in one week okay uh, keep wearing it and see one day you might understand it the complexity of it so i really really love this and i think this fragrance is something like love it or hate it kind of uh, but if you uh, get into uh, like mature fragrances you really enjoy this especially in this kind of weather so grey flannel one of the classic fragrances uh, go check out the other reviews of other og reviewers you'll see what i meant by uh, polarizing reviews you know uh, so yeah this one the dry down is really lovely and it's a uh, it's a uh, one of a kind okay grey flannel one of the classics forever i'm not going to read that so let's move on to the second review from house of cartier bye bye